Canker sores are professionally known as recurrent aphthous ulcers and are commonly found in all individuals from young children to older adults. They consist of minor, major, and herpetiform types. A number of factors are considered to be possible causes of recurrent aphthous ulcers. However, their exact cause remains unclear. Canker sores have a classic appearance. They are not contagious and have an unknown cause. It's thought that hormones, food allergies, spicy foods, trauma, or stress brings them on. In my 40 years of practice, most of my patients have these sores or having trouble at home, work, or school. My college-age patients regularly get these sores during exam times. Adults will break out when they are stressed over money, health, or any relationship with tension. These sores can appear anywhere in the mouth, but are always inside on the thin skin that lines the inside of the lip, the back of the throat, the cheek, or adjacent to a tooth. Fever blisters are painful, fluid-filled sores that form on the outside of the mouth or around the lips. Fever blisters are very contagious. Canker sores are not. They are painful white or yellow sores that only form inside the mouth, usually on the inside of the cheeks, lips, or the underside of the tongue. This sore is on the thin skin below the teeth. RAS, recurrent aptostomatitis, never appears on the light pink tough skin next to the tooth or sides and on the top of the tongue. They are flat, ulcerated with thin red borders and are very painful. Here is another example inside the lip. They can also appear under the tongue on the thin skin as well. The dentist should look at these to rule out something more serious or possibly a simple cause like a rough tooth. Canker sores, known as RAS, appear inside the mouth. If you have them on the outside, they are likely something else and possibly infectious. Systemic diseases and conditions associated with oral ulcers or other causes of oral ulcers must be considered. Once a diagnosis of RAS is, is confirmed, a treatment plan can be made. There are three treatment options. The first is palliative and the most commonly utilized is a topical gel or cream to cover the sore and apply a numbing drug or steroid. It's not my first choice because it's palliative and the individual is still uncomfortable for about a week. Another option is to use a laser. The laser is used to cauterize the surface and will work very effectively. But you need to find a provider who has a laser to treat you. My treatment of choice is to chemically cauterize the sore with a product called Dibactrol or Negatin. Negatin was offered to me as a solution by Dr. Baker. Here is an example of one formulary pharmacy that will actually make it. Both the Dibactrol and Negatin are applied using a tiny micro brush directly onto the surface of the sore. It will sting for a few seconds, then turn dark in color, and then about two to three minutes later the pain is completely gone and the sore will normally heal in about seven to ten days. If you have any questions or would like to leave a comment, please do so, and I will try to respond to you within 48 hours. I hope you found this brief video helpful, so be well and be safe.